Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate company scraper on LinkedIn using Sociinator. If you want to search, filter, and scrape targeted companies on LinkedIn, then Sociinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your LinkedIn account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on LinkedIn through Sociinator. Let's scroll to the right and click Company Scraper. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape a number of LinkedIn companies within a period of time. There are several configuration categories for Company Scraper activity. Let's start with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted companies to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the company. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. For this one, we only have one search URL. So once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. And when you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test the search URL query type. So for this one, we need to search something on LinkedIn. So let's say you searched for digital marketing so make sure to click more and select companies because we are targeting companies and these are the search results. So copy the search URL over here, paste it in the query box and click add. And it's now added to the queries list over here. Let's try another one. Let's say e-commerce for example. So make sure you're searching for companies then Copy the search URL, paste it in the query box, and click Add. So this will target the companies that appeared in the search results and scrape them. You may add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to remove the second one, click it, and it's gone. So the last configuration category is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape companies. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like Slow with an average daily activities of 125, Medium with 250, Fast with 375, or Super Fast with 583. Superfast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each company is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of companies you've set in number of scraping per job. Number of scraping per job will allow you to specify the number of companies to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of companies to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max scrape. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping companies even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it LinkedIn Company Scraper and click Save. 
We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing LinkedIn Company Scraper. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping companies on LinkedIn, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. To view the companies that you have scraped, click the Reports button over here. Now, let me show you another option in automating Company Scraper on LinkedIn using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the Social drop-down button and select LinkedIn. This will take us to the Accounts tab. Let's switch to the Scraper tab and select Company Scraper on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it LinkedIn Company Scraper. For the search URL query type, let's use the same search URL from earlier. Paste it and click Add. And for job configuration, let's select Slow. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, Select Account or Accounts. In this part, you can select multiple LinkedIn accounts. Since you only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box. Then click Save. After saving, let's click the red button, Create Campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the Save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab, where you can see that we have successfully created our LinkedIn Company Scraper campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign, and the Action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. To view the companies that you have scraped, click the Report button over here. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.